Uh, so now we're going to look at selection methods in Creo, uh, broken up into a, a few parts. Um, the first part we'll be looking at box selection. Okay, so if we've got an assembly and we want to quickly and easily select a whole bunch of objects, we can do that by dragging the selection window. So if I drag that selection window from left to right, it's a solid line that we get, and anything that's completely inside of that window, once I release, um, will be selected. Anything that that window crosses is not selected. Uh, if I do the window in the opposite way, so from right to left, you notice the window is a dotted line, and anything, in this case, when I release that, that window crosses, uh, or anything, any object that's partially inside that window will be selected. So for the same sort of uh, size rectangle, we actually get lot, a drastically different selection set. Okay, I mean that depends on model orientation and, and obviously the size of the rectangle that you draw and all of that sort of stuff. Um, the next thing that we do, we can look at is the box selection. So if I just activate this and now I select on here, um, what I can then do effectively, I'm like sketching on that plane. And if I drag a window now, you can see the same sort of window um, left to right. Um, it's anything that's completely inside will be selected. So you can see as I, I've got the ability to resize afterwards, you can see as I do that, only the objects that are completely inside that will be selected. Okay. Uh, we can also do the same thing with the window dragged from right to left and you can see there anything that, that we, that's partially inside that, that box now uh, is selected. Okay.